Watch you guys got another video on how to uninstall Microsoft Edge from Windows 11 safely. Now, not everyone likes Microsoft Edge and a lot of people like to uninstall it. Unfortunately, it's not possible to uninstall in every country around the world. Now, some countries do have restrictions and they can't uninstall Microsoft Edge, where other countries are allowed to uninstall Microsoft Edge. So what gives? So let's take a look at a uh, reason why uh, you can't uninstall Edge in some countries and you can in others. If we look here in the United Kingdom, you can see I can't uninstall that. And that's because I'm not part of the EEA. So if your country doesn't reside in the EEA, you will not be able to uninstall Microsoft Edge. Now there was a change in the law and what happened is Microsoft had to abide by that law and they had to give ability for people that lived in the EEA to be able to uninstall it. This is the European Economic Area. And this means that they had to give these people that lived in the European economic area options to opt out of things and also uninstall things. And that included Microsoft Edge. Because of that reasoning, Microsoft had to amend uh, their Digital Markets Act and bring this into place to give people the option to be able to uninstall it. Unfortunately, if you don't live in the EEA or the ec European Economical Area, you won't have that option to uninstall. And we all know that using scripts to uninstall Microsoft Edge is really risky. But there is a way you can uninstall uh, Microsoft Edge, and you'll need to get an application. And it's called WinToys. And if you go to the Microsoft Store, you'll be able to download and install it on your system. And this will change the Digital Markets Act on your system. So you'll be able to then uninstall Microsoft Edge. This is a much safer way of doing it than basically using some script off the internet that rips key components out of the operating system, which could end up breaking your system. This way is the safest way because it's been designed for people that live in the EEA and it will give them the ability to be able to uninstall uh, Microsoft Edge from their system using the uninstall feature that's built into Windows operating systems. As you can see right now, we still can't uninstall it using this application right now because we haven't enabled the Digital Market Act on this system. And all you need to do here is you'll go down to the actual uh, cog here and this will give us the ability to be able to enable that feature and then uninstall it. So this little spanner right here, click on this icon. And then what you need to do is go to system. And once we go inside system, there'll be a little slider or rocker button, which we can turn on, which is called a Digital Markets Act. People were asking about this in the comments section of my video that I did of this actual tool and asked what it meant. And this is what it actually does. So when you toggle that on, like so, we've turned that feature on. You will need to restart your PC. So let's go ahead and restart our PC right here. Restart. And this will obviously now restart the system. And once we get back to the desktop, we should now be able to uninstall Microsoft Edge from the computer. It's going to be the most simplest and easiest way to uninstall Microsoft Edge if you don't want it on your PC. Now, I do understand that some people do like to have Microsoft Edge and they do use it, and that's fine. You can use it if you want to, or you can leave it on the system if that suits you as well. So basically, what we need to do is go into the settings panel and then go apps and then click on Microsoft Edge, click on the three dots, and now, voila, we can now uninstall uh, Microsoft Edge using this method. Super easy. And all it's going to do is just say, hey, do you want to uninstall Microsoft Edge? We're going to say yes to the user account control here. And it's now going to go ahead and give us an offering to uninstall it from the computer. While we're at it, we can even uninstall Microsoft Edge Game Assistant as well and remove it from the PC. So let's go ahead and do that right here. It's giving you a little warning sign right here. And it will say it will no longer be available. Now, remember, when you uninstall Microsoft Edge, some features might not work properly for you because Edge is now removed. For instance, Copilot might not work properly if you've removed Edge from the system. You need to do your um, research and find out whether that's something that you don't care about. I would personally remove all of this garbage inside here, apart from a couple of items like terminal and things like that. I would keep those, but all the junk programs and Copilot and 
Cortana and things like that were generally removed. Now, you can see Edge has now completely been removed from the system. You can do a search for it, but it's gone. There's no trace of it on the PC. Let me just do a quick search for Edge right here. And you can see there's no option available. We can do a search for Microsoft Edge. And you can see even Microsoft Edge, it doesn't come up with anything. Now, you may be wondering, what about if I want to put it back on the system? But remember, before you uninstall Microsoft Edge, you will need another browser to be downloaded. Otherwise, you'll end up like we are here with no browser. Well, you can still download a browser and you can still download it inside the Microsoft Store as long as you haven't uninstalled the Microsoft Store. You could do a search for Microsoft Edge right here. Go ahead and download and install it again. And it should work perfectly fine because you haven't used any third party script to basically rip out all the core components of Microsoft Edge. This is the safest way to remove it on your PC. And the beauty of using this method means that you can always reinstall it if you wanted to reinstall it at some point and it's not going to break your system. The application has been registered, which is nice to see. And it also means that you're not going to have any flags flagging the application when you go to download and install it. And of course, if you're using those scripts on the internet that will uninstall Edge the old fashioned way, what will happen is it will go off and start removing key core components of the system and it will cause an issue. As you can see, we're back up and running. I've just reinstalled it on here as well. And the beauty of doing it this way is that once we've done it once, we can now go into our uh, settings app right here, go back into apps, and go over to installed apps, then go to Microsoft Edge, click the three dots, and we now still have the ability to uninstall straight away like so. And that's pretty much it. That is the safest way to remove Microsoft Edge from your PC without causing major problems to your PC. Now remember, Microsoft have introduced this method for uninstalling at Microsoft Edge if you live in the EEA, and that means that it's probably the safest way of uninstalling it because Microsoft have introduced it for those people. So this is probably your safest bet if you don't want it on the system, then by all means, go ahead and uh, go to the Microsoft Store, download WinToys. It's probably one of the best apps out there, if I'm honest. Uh, for doing a lot of other stuff you can debloat windows turn off a lot of settings that you don't use on windows and it's an ideal application for getting windows back to some sort of usable state compared to having all the bloat and all the telemetry turned on it disables all the adverts all the telemetry and all that stuff as well so check out the link in the video description anyway with that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.